if I should know the answer to this, but uh, if I don't, maybe there's some fans who don't either. Obviously, you're fighting a uh, Jake Paul card. How, how did that come about? Do you see yourself fighting in other events in the future? Or was it just a good opportunity or like how? Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was back in the Valley with, uh, you know, being a, being a, a new dad with, uh, with, with Omar and, and uh, our baby. And then uh, I got the call that, you know, about this opportunity. And um, yeah, and I was uh, talking over with my, my manager, uh, Luis de Cubas. Um, it just it's it just made sense, you know. When I, when I was older too, you know, I was doing a I was doing a decent job, you know, staying in shape, staying in the gym, you know, yeah. aside from uh, trying to get used to, you know, all, all the the like like new father stuff. But um, but yeah, uh, we got the call about the opportunity, and uh, of course, you know, like I said, boxing going to Netflix. It's kind of like a, I mean, I like I said, I, I think it's a weird time, but uh, to be part of it, um, you know, needless to say, is uh, I think it's huge. So yeah. I feel like we'll see more of that, you know, because some of the other champions, they're on the zone, they're on different platforms. So if it just makes sense, good fights, good money, hopefully we can just make fights, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. I mean, like, that's how it should be. You know, as long as it's worth it, you know, for, for both fighters, you know, both fighters are, uh, are getting taken care of. Um, it, it, it shouldn't be an issue. So I know there's a ton of options for you at 147, but could we ever see you go up and wait to, like, 154, 160, or is that just... Nah, I mean, I, I think all day is just a matter of time. Uh, yeah. I had, uh, I, I mean, I turned pro at, at, at 120, 124, right? So, I mean, I, I, from where I started my career, you know, like with... 122, Mar, but you can't. Yeah, 122, you know, at, at 18 years old. Now I'm, uh, now I'm 29. I feel like it's only a matter of time, you know, before, you know, my body, you know, continues to fill out and, you know, I had to move up. But for now... Uh, you know, my eyes and, you know, my focus is set, you know, on the World Tour division and just uh, accomplishing as much as I can here. What do you think of uh, you and Ryan next year defending the ti his chance for the first time to actually become world champion? You in this big fight, uh, what do you think of that? If it's worth it, then, yeah, I mean, yes. You know, like I said, I mean, uh, you know, there's not a fight uh, I'm willing to, uh, you know, that I, that I will say no to. You know, I mean, I... I have uh, I have confidence in what I do. I have confidence in my skills and my you know abilities. Um, yeah, you know I would look forward you know to uh, to defending you know my belt. Do you think he's worthy of a title shot at this point in his career? That's you? that's kind of like where it's like like does does he really deserve it? Uh, yeah, I mean you know if he, if he comes back you know you know it'd be good money. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good money. Oh, uh, maybe more money than the cha other champions. Yeah, it might. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, and then, uh, hopefully, you know, he comes back. He, he gets on his shit. Uh, he, you know, he makes his his noise, or you know, he he gets you know some of the fights that you know, he wants. And I mean, yeah, it's kind of just it's weird. What what, what uh what's weird about it? Kind of wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. I feel like everything. You know, he I mean he uh. He fought the whole. I mean, the, the whole thing with with Haney and them, uh, him him popping them dirty. I mean, you know, regardless. I mean, as a fighter, like, I got my own views on that. But I mean, it's fucked up. Um, yeah, you know, like I said, I mean, he cleans up, he comes back. You know, he he continues, you know, to be successful. You know, yeah, I w I would welcome a, a fight with him. Can you Let's, elaborate more on your views on that? Uh, as a fighter. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just as a fighter, I mean, right, like, we, you know, we're putting our lives, in the, you know, on the line every time we step in there. Uh, I think it kind of just shows more about, you know, your, like, your character than, than anything. Uh, whatever it is that you're popping up dirty for. Um, yeah. What do you think about him being sued by Haney right now? Uh, I mean, I get it. I think it's a little extra. <laughs> But I mean, I get it, right? Yeah, like I said, you know, our our lives are, are on the line, and yeah, they're just, they're they're, they're kind of going about things in an interesting way. Are you are you at all saying with him that because you mentioned you know hopefully he gets back at some of the fights he wants? Are you like you want to see him do something before you let him fight for your title, or or if he comes straight off suspension, he could get it next if if everything makes sense? It. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my, you know, my, my team, you know, they're the ones that they, like, handle all that. Um, you know, they, they bring up fights to me. We just go the, the way that makes more sense. Um, yeah, I think, you know, just, uh, I mean, I, I think Ryan Garcia, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a damn good fighter. He just has a lot of attributes about him, you know, that, that are really great, you know, like, in the ring. Um, 
it's just yeah like what has happened you know the past you know like what like year or two it's kind of just like I don't know. You don't just, know if you want to be involved in that kind of thing, or yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I I know I wouldn't like so. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mario. Appreciate it.